Hi everyone, can you hear me? That's fine. I think that you should be able to. So, uh, nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you on the functional group update of the CI CD team. Uh, just to let you know, uh, we recently changed the name from the CI team to CI CD team. We are very proud of that change pretty much. But basically, uh, when we started creating this presentation uh, this morning, I thought that everyone can contribute, right? So. I actually did create this template for this presentation and ask uh, the rest of the team to actually fill that with content. And this is basically what they did, uh, came up as a first slide, that 9.0 will be the best release ever. So <laughs> it seems yes. that they are very proud of what they achieved pretty much. So I would only uh, confirm that. We just ship some crazy amount of things that I, I'm just, it just feels unbelievable for me. Uh, the amount of work that we spent on making 9.0 happen. These are the highlights of 9.0 in terms of the CI. This is crazy. This is amount of the performance, UX, UI, front and back end polishes is just crazy. I will just go through uh, the maybe most interesting ones. We had this performance regression uh, maybe not regression, uh, performance deficiency on an environments page. Something that you have to actually ask about www.gitlab.com environments is not actually not opening. And it was just because uh, when we were designing this view, we forgot about adding pagination, which kind of a really terrible idea <laughs> in the end. But this is solved. There is pagination in environments. This view is fast again. And we also added a few new additions to this. Uh, view because right now we also have folders you can go to review folder and see all your review apps in that single place but also with uh, enterprise edition premium you also have deploy boards now so you can see live status of your uh, deployment when it's actually being run on kubernetes and with 9.1 you will also see canary deploys on this view so it's just because we did it, it opens so much flexibility in how we can um, improve uh, the, what we actually ship there. And this is something that's the second very interesting feature, or bug, it depends. We engineers consider this as a feature, uh, customers consider this as a bug. Uh, we had this bug or feature for five months, and Customers started asking us that it doesn't make sense. We should just have a pipeline that is blocking. If you have an action in your pipeline on some stage, it's the action that is blocking and not really something that should be skipped and we should not consider then a pipeline has succeeded. 90.0 pretty much solves this issue because right now you can choose whatever you want. You can have blocking and non-blocking. You can mark an, an actions that are non-blocking like cleanup, lap stop, like stop preview, and they will just be skipped. They will just not be accounted towards pipeline status. They will be just be executed, but they will not fail your pipeline. You can have a production deployment to be blocking that you will just not merge uh, or do anything with your pipeline unless you actually click this uh, beautiful play button. And the another big thing that actually is also very interesting from uh, various, various of the other reasons, for a really long time, and we also have, it's not really yet uh, fully completed, we, GitLab CI runner was basically generating crazy amount of requests. I believe it was something like three million one hour, probably, something like that. And with 9.0, uh, we managed to ship that with great help of Andrew, with great help of uh, Kim, Jakob, and a bunch of other people that were working on making this happen. And it's live. Um, it's actually, but the truth is uh, behind that story that it opened us a possibility uh, with also uh, the CI depreciation changes for 9.0, open us a possibility to actually kill the support for old runners with the API v3 depreciation period. And this is actually the ultimate goal because long pooling works. Long pooling makes a GitLab runner to ask basically GitLab hit GitLab rates every once an hour. Uh, 
but we still have this crazy amount of the old runners that are still using the old technique. If you look, for example, at this graph, you can clearly see when we enabled long pooling. This drop on this not found Redis hit is basically new runners were using this technique. Uh, but what did happen afterwards? We just unleashed so much computing power uh, afterwards that the old runners just started consuming more and more resources, as you would expect, right? And uh, until we don't kill old runners, we just have problem, or we just don't slow the old runners, we just have the problem with old runners that they are still generating a lot of, a lot of load on GitLab.com. Uh, all new runners, uh, runners basically since version 1.9, uh, are supporting long pooling, and uh, this is actually something that we have also from manual testing. We also see that on graphs that this is actually paying off and it's working. But there are always low lights, unfortunately. <laughs> and one of these low lights, uh, we have this bug report. Uh, people that are kind of annoyed of uh, emails for success pipelines. Uh, probably I think that most of you actually get uh, get along with that by creating spam filters maybe or something like that but not everyone has this opportunity to do it like that mm. but th this is something that we actually trying now to solve uh, as part of 9.1 uh, we are working with the discussion team uh, with Sean uh, Jensen and Sean and me uh, together we are working on solving finally this long issue. Uh, there is also problem of uh, growing container registry. We have long-term plan on making this uh, solved, but uh, I don't know, band eight or intermediate solutions are not yet there and they are, they are not working properly, at least from my testing. This is something still yet to figure out how to do properly. Uh, but maybe there is, but there is actually much one bigger low light uh, from the last couple of weeks is actually the stability of the shared runners. Uh, we ship so many new things, we ship so many new additions to the process that we are, that we kind of uh, wake up in a new reality, and this new reality actually creates uh, this this storm of things failing crazy. And this is actually something that was seen uh, in recent days. And we had the problems with long job queues. Uh, we had the problems with specific runners not picking jobs. Some of these problems, they are not yet resolved. We are actively looking in solving them. Some of them are resolved. But basically, this actually kind of open part of much bigger conversation uh, that we as a CICD team try to open and make everyone to be aware is about the changes that we have to introduce for CI on GitLab.com. One of the uh, changes that you probably heard about this uh, is shared runners minutes. It's our way to actually make sure that we can control amount of the jobs that are run on GitLab.com. But the truth is that uh, we need to face much bigger challenges uh, in upcoming months. For example, every time that I see that there is some problem with the CI, I basically learn that. that the first thing that I have to check, I have to check if there is no uh, person mining Bitcoins, for example, on GitLab.com. We had so many of these kind of projects already, that is just crazy. Um, so basically, one of the challenges, I think, for upcoming months is actually to define what it does mean to actually be a fair, what, is, what it does mean uh, to have a fair usage on github.com. What is our retention policy? How we actually, for how long we store your artifacts, we store your container uh, images, and uh, how we monitor runners. But also there is uh, one thing that we are actively working right now on um, is visibility and also resilience and documentation of how things are working. Um, thing is that GitLab uh, CI and GitLab.com uh, are very complex. They are consist of most multiple components. We have GitLab.com, this coordinator. 
We have artifact storage, we have container registry, we have runners, machines, Docker engine, we have infrastructure provider, we run these builds externally, there are also security concerns. This is a lot of moving parts. And over time, it did show that each of these parts could basically, did basically break at some point. Uh, creating better documentation, uh, making people more aware, uh, also creating with our hands some training for the team. I believe that it will help everyone on triaging these kind of issues. Uh, concerns, as always, we are actively looking for new people. Uh, the front end, uh, front end senior back end uh, for race and go. We could achieve so much more if you would have just more people. But we are also very strict and also our expectations are very high for potential candidates. And this is actually one of the reasons why it's taking uh, this amount of time to find new people. But uh, this is 9.0. This is our concerts. This is things that they are happening, that we are working, uh, constantly improving. Uh, making sure that we are aware of that and making sure that uh, we uh, increase this visibility. But there are also are uh, plans for 9.1. You probably saw already most of them at kickoff. This is just part of them. And I'm not sure if it's actually uh, very interesting to go into details because you can just simply click on each of these links and see what is under that description. There is so many areas in the CI and CD space and also in idea to production space that we are working and we are improving that I am just very looking forward for 9.1 to be even better released than ever. So thank you very much for the attention and I would happily uh, look for Questions? I only see lower community contributions and best release ever. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, it was very quick and see you in 15 minutes.